Hi everyone, my name is Graham and welcome to this installment of the Clover Station series. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Clover Station and go through how to process a transaction. So this is the Clover Station. So this is your 14 inch display for employees to ring in customers um, and make orders. This is a cash drawer we can have connected, an electronic cash drawer which automatically opens um, when there's a cash payment. This is our seven inch customer facing display. This is where customers would insert, swipe or tap for payment. And then this is the station dedicated receipt printer. So now I'll show you how you would process a transaction on the Clover station. So first we would go into the register app and this is where all your categories and items are at. So when a customer is ready to check out, you could either scan their items in with a USB scanner that's connected to the Clover station or we could just select their items. So we'll input some items. And then as you can see on the customer facing side, they can see their order as it's being rung in. So once we're ready to pay, we can click the green pay button here and it gives you options for what we can have for payment method. So I'll start with credit and debit and what that looks like. So if we click credit and debit, it will send the payment to the customer facing payment machine. So Tip is an option you can have on or off. So for now, we'll just select no tip. And then you'll, as you see, it prompts the customer with insert, swipe, or tap, and they can complete the transaction from their side. And if we do a cash payment, this is what it looks like. So say we do an exact change, we pay cash, it pops open the cash drawer, and then we can print, email, or text the receipt. So if we wanna print the receipt, that comes out on the Clover Station printer. And now you're ready to process the next transaction. Thank you for watching this week's installment of Sona's Clover Station series. Stay tuned for next week's installment. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email info at sonapay.ca.